entertainment take this opportunity to welcome you. Parents, brothers, sisters, friends, uncles, aunts, cousins, and for what I know, grandparents too. <laughs> <laughs> to Gragewood School for Girls. I won't detain you any longer, except to explain that each form in the school has organized an entire evening's entertainment during the course of this festival week. The mantle of responsibility falls tonight by lottery on the fourth form. <coughs> Who, together with a little help from members of staff, have asked me to announce their offering, a play in two acts entitled Daisy Pulls It Off. Thank you. Is today. 
I heard several pupils and teachers last term saying how unhappy they were about the scheme. Even Miss Gibson? Miss Gibson will soon see sense. When exam standards drop, girls leave. And Grangewood loses every sports trophy it's ever won. Hockey and tennis aren't taught in elementary schools. How frightful. <laughs> the journey passed miserably for Daisy until the train made a stop at a small country station. <whistles> Claire Beaumont, head girl and sports captain of Grangewood School. A shining example of true British girl. <laughs> <laughs> First term, actually. Oh, I'm sure you'll be tremendously glad with us at Brainwood. It's a jolly school in England. Claire Bowman, by the way. Daisy Meredith. Daisy Meredith? Yes, Daisy Meredith. I'm to be in the upper fourth. Oh, of course. You must be the girl who won the scholarship. The first of many such girls, I hope. That's the spirit, Kitty. But there are some silly little brothers in the school who aren't so keen on scholarship pupils being admitted. I'd lie low if I were you for a month or so, until they get used to the idea of being made flesh. Back up, child. There are some quite decent girls in the fort. You'll pull through. I jolly well hope to. Oh, here we are at the station. <laughs> there, there. Now, baby, the school is only five minutes from here. You'll find it easy enough. Just follow the others. Chill out, I'll see you later, I expect. <laughs> Daisy stepped onto the platform of the tiny country station scarcely able to push her way through the crowd of laughing, chattering girls. Mistresses suddenly appeared on the platform and began to shepherd the bubbling throng into the lane that led to the school. They rounded the corner. I say, and there stood Grangewood School. As they passed through the great stone gates, the girls, as one, turned to look at the sapphire sea beating against the chalky cliffs on which the school so proudly stood. <laughs> what an absolutely gorgeous place! I'm going to be so immensely happy here! 